things going on in 2020 just when you think uh, the worst can happen you know life comes on um, my family's from here in Chattanooga Tennessee and about almost three weeks ago we got slammed by a tornado tore our house pretty much apart thanks to my wife and the strength of my family and a couple of very good friends um, we're back in a place together. Uh, so all I can say about that is to like my friends, uh, Adrian Coker, for one, my wife's workmates, Brenda, Gio, Brenda's daughter, her mom, uh, Mark Hayes, a lot of uh, shout outs to y'all for the support you gave us through this uh, transition life-changing experience guitar stuff started a couple of weeks ago before all of this action uh, on doing uh, uh, pedals in front of plexi and that's what we're going to continue um, I'm in a different house that uh, I'm going to be in temporarily um, once again using the same guitar that I use which is a um, 2009 Surf Green Stratocaster USA. Today I'm stacking. This is something really cool. I'm actually using my Marshall JTM 45 Plexi, but instead of a 212, I've got it on a 1960 VT with greenbacks in it. Thank you, Adrian, for helping me load this up the steps. Today I am using a pretty wild setup. I have got, coming out of the amp first, since you don't come from the back of a JTM45, these are all out front pedals. Uh, I've got a DD3 delay. And I'm about 12 o'clock, about 11 o'clock, and about 2 o'clock on that. With about 400 milliseconds. I am then going into a 5150 overdrive. That is the Ed Van Halen MXR overdrive. Pretty nice unit. But to actually give it a, kind of a cleanup, actually, to where I can actually use the mids and the presence and everything, I'm topping it off with a old Ibanez TS-10 Tube Screamer. Bought this a long time ago. Probably late 80s. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me see if I can give you a look at my amp. Amp setup. There we go. Amp setup, cabinet setup. I don't know if the pedals are coming through. I hope so. But there we go. Now, the guitar, just by itself, without any kind of boost. <laughs> that I was playing there. So now if you hit it with just the 5150 overdrive, you are going to get this. And as you'll notice, you get a lot of the stratocaster leftover sound in there, which is okay if that's what you're going for, but if you want to give it a little bit more of a, a warmer, thicker middle, you hit the Tube Screamer. Let's see what we got here. Screamer, so you can get a little bit of it. And then with it. Tube Screamer 
basically gives you a whole lot more sustain. So, um, but I'm gonna have to cut it short today, but that right there is going to give you an idea of stacking the sound. And once again, that's gonna be a Boss Digital Delay, an Eddie Van Halen MXR Distortion 5150 Overdrive, and then a Ibanez TS10 Tube Screamer. I hope everybody's safe out there. Peace out.